I want my jimmies have been rustled. <laughs> I want my jimmies back. It's showtime. Let's kick some ass. All your days are belong to us. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Three Hit Combo Podcast, the world's most beltless podcast. My name is Matthew, and I'm here with Andrew and Skylarino. Skylar is the full version of his name. Oh. I know that was the joke. I w- I Skylar with two R's. Yeah, oh, Skylar with one R. <laughs> Skylar. I'm here with Andrew and Skylar. <laughs> Skylar. Ralph Bear. <laughs> no. No. Not again. Rah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bear. <laughs> Anytime I play Skyrim and I see a bear, I'm like, oh, look, it's Ralph Bear. No one in the room gets what I'm talking about. How many people are in the room when you play Does Skyrim? Erica ever just, like, shut Three, up? Three, usually. Yeah, Erica, Erica gets upset when I keep thinking that because she doesn't want – or she doesn't listen to the podcast. So. She doesn't watch the podcast. She just stares at the queue while listening to it. <laughs> she doesn't. Uh, she doesn't support my hobbies. Mine either, so sorry. I don't have that negativity in my life because I don't have a girlfriend. Bitches. My girlfriend is this podcast. <laughs> Forever <laughs> alone. <laughs> Forever alone. Mato Bued. My call and my podcast. <laughs> Mato Bued is my girlfriend. Um, how was you guys this week? All right. Fantastic. Who yeah. oh, you just wrestled today? Yeah, it was just Russell. Any particular thing, or just a lot of just annoying things? Like you're just like, just, it was like, a, <sighs> like it was one of those days where just every everything was just like, just fuck you. It was a fuck you day. That's what it was. And then I went over to Target after work to get some groceries, and there were fucking bottles of Panera salad dressing. And for a yep. split second in my head, I had this image of me just fucking throwing them all on the ground, and then out of a rage, just being like, Panera right in the middle of Target. <laughs> Uh, what's uh? They also sell the uh, prepackaged soup. Yeah, yeah. Wait, what? They it's, sell Panera soup at places no that aren't Panera. Tomato. It's, oh, it's like it. the weird shit. So close. Like you get a, broccoli cheddar and I think baked potato it and then a lobster bisque. That Panera Panera itself hasn't offered in like seven years, but apparently still sells. Does it sell wild mushroom too? Because that one only comes out for like a God, week. That was like diarrhea soup. What about that squash soup? I don't remember that. You story. don't remember that one? No, that might have been before my time. It just looked all orange and it smelled like cinnamon. You know what's really gross? The stupid chicken pot pie sans uh, crust. Oh, the Sonoma? Yeah. It has the consistency of, like, boogers. It is very thick. Gross. Yeah. It's not a good kind of thick. Not I the always, thickness you, aso- you associate with soup. I always hate when customers will argue with you, too. Or you're like, my soup's really thick. I'm like, man, that's the way it comes. He's like, no, I come here every day. That's what the soup looks like. And the instinctive person in me just wants to fucking flip the bowl and tell her to fuck off. But the manager inside of me goes, ma'am, I can honestly tell you, it is this thick. <laughs> just take your, like, you're drinking a glass of water. Just be like, is this better for you? Start pouring <laughs> the water and mix it up with your finger. <laughs> How's this? Is this thick enough for you? Here, let me add some flavor. <laughs> My week was okay. I, uh, I, I figured out from a friend that there's a melon boom going on right now. A what? Apparent, a melon boom? There's a lot of... A lot of melons. Yeah, it's, oh, been, really? it's been very hot this summer. So, like, you can go to a grocery store and buy a melon for, like, $2. Oh, hey. I got, like, Is that, like, any melons or, like... Uh, like cantaloupe s- specifically. Cantaloupe. That's, oh, okay. that's what's relevant to the story. So, I bought one. Right. And then I ate it all, all of the cantaloupe, and I've been re- regretting it for the past few days. A few poop? days? Yeah. Just hanging around in your system? Well, for I, a I decided weekend. I was going to counteract the uh, the oncoming storm by, of by diarrhea. eating sponges or something. <laughs> I ate half a pound of cheese. <laughs> Why? What do you. For some uh, reason, when you said I bought a cantaloupe, I thought the next thing coming out of your mouth is going to be like, and I fucked it. <laughs> so, so here's um, so you ate a cantaloupe and a half a pound of cheese like what kind I'm, of cheese uh Velveeta cheddar come on there was uh a, a, a brick of cheddar uh, it was it was actually wasn't 
exactly half a pound, but it was some cheddar cheese and uh, fresh mozzarella. But uh, so I'm hoping that that's gonna like clog me up just enough. But now I'm I'm having urgent false alarms. <laughs> <laughs> that's the best way to describe it for the you know the last half week. It's just been very urgent false alarms. Um, I I was thinking about this. What kind of discounts do you get at your job? Do you get discounts on gas? No. Uh, uh, for those of you who have forgotten or are just tuning in, uh, I work at a gas station. Uh, convenience store, sorry. Uh, BP offers the gas. Bucky's uh, is the convenience store. Oh, okay. So I get, like, free uh, microwave sandwiches that we have, uh, free hot dogs, uh, ice cream, the soft serve that we have, and then soda. What about, does that include and donuts? Cheese? Does that include the... Yes, include the, oh, the ices. Oh, nice. And uh, pretty much anything of the main stock that uh, I can sneak out <laughs> because the manager doesn't take stock. So, there you go. Cool. <laughs> How was your week, man? Uh, basic until Friday. I got a sunburn. All right. Face. See, I was I was yeah. wondering, like in my head, I was debating whether it was the light or like, yeah. Yeah. What happened? Uh, I walked for three hours at Zerinsky. Oh damn! Walked the entire thing. Um, Did you wear sunscreen? No, it was impromptu. Oh, okay. All right. All right. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> um, I was like, because I, I was driving, I'm like, I'm gonna go to Zerinsky. So I go to Zerinsky. I walk for about an hour and a half. I'm like, I'm done. Ooh, I'm at least an hour and a half away from my car. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one bad thing about Zerensky. If yeah. you make the commitment, you, you can't you back out. Yeah, yeah, you can't back out once the commitment's yeah. been made. You, you quit about halfway through, and then you're just like, ah, I quit, but I have to keep going <laughs> to quit. Yeah, so it's like, ooh, all right. Was Friday super hot, or was Friday one of the nice Friday days? was nice. Friday okay, was, Fri okay. was Friday like the coolish day? Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. It, it yeah, wasn't, like it wasn't, the last three days have been It wasn't have been bad like temperature-wise, but... After about an hour, I could feel the sun. Uh, I'm just like, oh, God. <laughs> Mistakes were made. You just, yeah. you just feel like one of those, like, uh, maybe Indiana Jones walking through the desert or something where you're just looking at the sun, and there's, like, a fade out, just like, da -na 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 -na. I'm not going to lie, a couple then, times I thought about... Um, then it fades into you on the sand. I thought about uh, just as someone drives by on their bike, <laughs> just to pull them off the bike and steal it. And <laughs> bike just pull off. a CJ from uh, 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 San Andreas. Yeah. yeah, or there was the part under the bridge where you're really close to the water. I thought about pushing them <laughs> in the water. <laughs> that would have been hilarious. Be more cautious. <laughs> oh, looks like you fell there. Oh, better take your bike away. <laughs> I'll so go it, get help. Yeah, I'll, yeah <laughs> you wait here. I'll go get help, but I'm not hurt. Was it just your face then? Face, and I got well on the back of my neck. Uh, if you can see that, dude, neck ones always suck. Arms a little bit, but not very bad. Yeah, neck suck because like you move yeah, you so move much. It, yeah. Then, yeah, it just it hurts. Yeah, so just face and face in the back of my neck. It's it was really fun the evening after. Anything else? Uh, I went to GameStop today, and I realized why I stopped going to GameStop when I don't have a pre-order. Because a pre-order, you know, you just go in and get out. Um, I went in to oh, go get Gears of War, God. and I go in there, and Three? I yeah, right. I go in there, and I find it right away, and I go up to the counter. And I'm like, yeah, I just like to get Gears of War. He's like, okay, uh, can I get your phone number, please? So I'm like, all right, is it that necessary to buy a game? So I like, I know they pull up your profile, and I know at my work. We pull up a profile, but that's because we can make it a lot faster if we do that. Um, anyway, so he asked for my phone number, and I'm like, okay, I give him a phone number. He's like, uh, is this Matt? Yeah, that's uh, me. <laughs> okay, can I just see your ID to verify? Oh, well, what, yeah, here's my ID. Well, I can understand because it's a mature game. Though. I, I, look at me. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. <laughs> um, but, uh, you're not baby face. Yeah. You're not like, Matt Newcomb. There's those policies where, like, you got you to ID. It was a Sunday afternoon. The manager's not there. <laughs> no one gives a shit. Um, so, you know, of course, are you a power-up member? No. Would you like to be? No. <laughs> and then, uh, it's like, uh, I saw you grab the new version. The used version's uh, $3 cheaper. I'm like, for $3, I'll take the new. <laughs> it's like, okay, would you like any of the DLC with that? I'm like, no. No, thank you. Would you like to pre-order any, pre any games today? I I'm like, that no. He's like, oh, Black Ops 2's coming out. Still, no. <laughs> 
You asked me something else. I forget. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Would you like uh, an extended warranty on this? Oh. Up to a year for any scratches, laser burns? Like laser burns? What the fuck? Uh, yeah, I've never heard of laser burns. What? The fuck's a laser burn? I should have asked him. What's a laser burn? He would have been like, uh, will this will be all for you today. <laughs> <laughs> but, <clears throat> it, I mean, it's not really his fault that he has to say all yeah. that crap. But still, hey, he did. He didn't make it quick either. He was doing like the whole thing. Oh, like, God. would you like the extended warranty? So just in case, uh, you know, anything scratches or laser burns up to an entire year, and I'm over here going, no, no, you know, I don't like to cut them That's off. That's why but... at Panera I now consolidate everything into like three questions. Well, yeah, that that would be the easiest thing. Is if I went up there, it'd be like, you a power up member? No. <laughs> do you want anything else? Yeah, yeah. Do you want the DLC? No. Any warranties? No. Pre-orders? No. Ah. Yeah. Ah. Just a nice back and forth. See, or you uh, can like list all three in one sentence. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. It was uh, yeah. Erica renewed our uh, renewed my my power up card uh, for GameStop, and I lost my power up card like a long time ago. So they always have to look me up. Yeah, but it seems like they don't ask me any questions. That that's part of the power the up power membership. Up is, <laughs> <no>. <laughs> they like I'll go in. He's and a I'll, member. Like, don't ask questions. Like I I get I'll get like the the new version of Shadow of Colossus. I got the, that remake. Ooh, uh, HD. Yeah, is it pretty. Uh, it's the same graphic quality, but the graphics look better. All right. Like, I it's understand. still like, it's yeah. It's made for high def. Yeah. All right. Uh, but I went in there, got it, and they're like, all right, we have a used version. And I'm, or, yeah, he, he offered me the used version. And he's like, are you a power member? And then he kind of cut himself off on that question. And he's like, okay. Then we finished it. <laughs> he didn't need to pre-order anything. My, like, the general manager was in the store, too. Why? Why do you think they offer the used one? Do you think they game? make they make more money off the used ones? Okay, um, for like a for like a regular new game or something, like they make some money. The developer and the publisher make some money, but for a used game, GameStop makes all the money. Okay, all right. Um, but sometimes it's just a stupid freaking question. It's like, okay, for three dollars, would you rather have the new one or the used one? Oh, I def- I take new the new one, of yeah. course. Like I bought um, Call of Duty Modern Warfare three used, but that's because it was twenty dollars cheaper. Yeah, it's like. But yeah, like the three dollars. Well, for, yeah, for three bucks. Yeah, just and give me the new one. The the damn insurance. Whenever anyone's like, "Do you want it, uh, insurance on?" I'm like, "No, Blu-ray discs are invincible." Well, and just even even if it was like a CD, it's like yeah. I don't really. What am I gonna do with it? You know, I'm 22 years old, not nine. You yeah. know, I'm not gonna be throwing it around or anything like <laughs> that. Uh, it's, it's either gonna be in the console or in the case. Yeah. For some reason, I don't know if it's just this GameStop or whatever, but I'm, I pre-ordered Borderlands 2, and I actually finished <sighs> pre-ordering it. Oh, uh, I want it so bad. I want that case. Oh yeah. That's oh, my- they're out of it. They sold out like the week it, it was announced. Motherfucker, dude. Like was- on my bucket list of life is I want to pre-order like the special edition of one game. Um, and I really wanted that one. Well, I uh, when I when I uh, pre-ordered it, uh, the guy kept checking to make sure that I wanted PS3. Like anytime <laughs> it came in to like add five or ten dollars or whatever. He's like, you want an Xbox 360, right? It says PS3 on here. I'm like, no, it's PS3. <laughs> like, I don't know why. I don't. Oh, you're still you're doing PS3. That's uh, that's cute. Yeah. Like, I don't... is there a problem? <laughs> that's weird. Yeah. Do you are you discriminating against black people? I don't I don't understand. Like, what's your Wait, problem? Which GameStop did you go to? One eightieth and seven. God right damn over it. There. That was always my favorite one for midnight releases. Yeah, that's a fun one. That's a fun one. Yeah, like the Red Bull people show up yeah. and they have uh, like events going on. For Black Ops, they're gonna do laser tag. No, no yeah. way. If you, oh. if you pre-order and go to the midnight, you uh, you get laser tag, and then you get like a, it's the family Ooh, fun zone, I'm whatever. Gonna, I'm gonna have to take Wednesday off work, <laughs> or I guess Tuesday. I'm gonna take Tuesday because it'd be Tuesday midnight. Yeah. So yeah, I'd have to take Tuesday so I can play it. Just take Wednesday. off. Well, I can take Tuesday and Wednesday. Yeah. Well, you, Tuesday at midnight, yeah, and then Wednesday tu- you don't work. So. No, Tuesday at midnight, but then I'll be playing it right when I get it. Oh, yeah. So I'll be playing it on Tuesday. Which I got to say, oh, I okay, really I really enjoyed Black Ops 1. Black Ops I think 1 it was, was one of fun. the better Call of Duty games. I haven't played any of the Black Ops. I just know this one has a huge amount of hype, and there's going to be a laser oh, They all they have, all have yeah, They all have hype. But... When I always thought that Treyarch was the shittier of the Call of Duty developers, Black Ops 1 totally proved that wrong. Mm-hmm. I was like, wow, these guys are good. Well, and I noticed that when I got Modern Warfare 3, I was like, it's not quite Black Ops. Yeah. You know? And just, you know, little things, too. Like, you know, like, tomahawks. What the fuck are my tomahawks? Yeah. <laughs> or running and diving. Where the fuck's my diving run? 
they showed that like this, I watched a trailer for it and they yeah. like specifically like zoomed in on this guy just running and diving. Dude, and it was like, so fun and yeah. it was useful. You know, you could dive through windows and stuff like that. That it was, was always fun. Yeah, like, and then you're fucking shooting as you're diving. Yeah, it was just it was a, it was a well made Call of Duty. All right, let's get started. Yeah, enough about GameStop. Unless we have more GameStop. News. All right, enough, they're an evil corporation. Enough about our gaming talk. Let's go into gaming news. <laughs> We just equipped our paladin with a plus three cloak of hilariousness. I'm boycotting your game, Blitz! You're not boycotting your game! That must mean it's time for three hit combo gaming news. Alright, enough about game stores. We're gonna go into a game store. A game store owner is selling his life on eBay. <laughs> for, isn't it like three and a half million? Three and a half million dollars. And yeah. he's, he lives in Florida. So, you know, weird shit happens there. That adds. Uh, so I mean, like, does that mean that whoever whoever buys them, they just Basically, kill yourself? W- what's God. happening is <laughs> Shane Butcher has decided to bundle up his house, his condo, his three cars, his three kayaks, his rare game collection, nearly all his possessions, and an entire chain of RU Game question mark stores, three in total, uh, which he is the owner, and he's putting it up for public bidding in hopes of becoming a millionaire. Like, all that together, he's not still a millionaire if he owns all that? Yeah, I, they must be little stores. Maybe. But he's got three of them. And he, he, he also has his, a house, a condo, and three cars. Yeah. It's like, dude, you're living pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's that's an idea. Like, when I saw that, I I thought he was just maybe selling, like, all of his businesses and stuff. But I didn't no. know it was his whole yeah, he's, life. Yeah, he's selling everything. And he also says he'll remain as the store's... Uh, at the stores as a consultant for up to six months and will cover a year's worth of lease payments. He also says he'll pay a full year of the homeowners association fees on both the home and the condo. I just, I don't understand, like, I mean, because he's still going to have to, like, get a new house or condo or yeah. something with his, out of his million dollars. Yeah, he's going to basically so. have to start a new life. Yeah. He's yeah. going to get a new house, new cars, maybe new that's business. What he, maybe that's what he wants, though. Well, why the fuck won't he just say it then? Yeah. Hmm. Has has have they said that has anybody like bid on it? Uh, apparently there have been biddings. I don't know. No exactly. way. Uh, oh god, I just closed it. Let me. Find oh, that's it. Cool. that's no, no, let me find it. Oh, no, hey, no, it's all right. No, it's all right. I have to ask these questions. It's all right. Do. That's right. Uh, Cheetah Men Two is hoping for a re-release on Kickstarter. What is it? Cheetah Men. Uh, ABGN reviewed Cheetah Men. Terrible, terrible buggy game. God awful. I, I never played it. Sorry. Budget of like three bucks. Was it for NES? Yeah. All right. Uh, if you haven't seen this posted around yet, uh, Kickstarter Project has gone live and is being supported by James Rolf, the Angry Video Game Nerd, Pat, the NES Punk, and Game Chasers. And also, so Angry Video, he's supporting it? He's supporting it. No way. Um, you'll have to chip in $60 to get a copy of the actual cart, which will have the lost levels patched so, so that the game is actually playable from beginning to end. <laughs> As usual, there are different reward levels. This game is coming out for the NES, so it's not coming out for a modern console. What's the uh, What's the game that came out for the? Uh, I want to say it was Super Nintendo. Uh, uh, a little ba- bit ago? Battle Kid. Battle yeah. Kid. Battle okay. Kid. Although I think that might have been the NES. And there's that Dreamcast that came. That new Dreamcast game that came out recently, or wasn't that? Was I that can't even Dreamcast? find a Dreamcast. I don't remember. That's one of the things I've been looking for because I I keep accumulating this money for my job, but I'm not paying rent. Uh, yeah. So I just have all this money Save before me? I. Save it? I'm joining the Navy, man. <laughs> this is going to be pity dollars. I got like 300 bucks to blow. Want to go to the strip club? No. <laughs> Why not? I don't want to set it on fire. Yeah, mm-hmm. maybe I'll do that and then buy some lottery tickets. <laughs> um. Right now, but uh, Cheetah Men 2 is up to 527 backers on Kickstarter. They've made just over $33,000 and 25 days left of their $65,000 goal. How's uh, SGC is doing? Not that great. Not that great? Ah. They're about halfway there, but they got like 11 days left. Ooh. Yeah, I don't foresee them hitting it. Unfortunately, I, I chipped in some, but... Did you? Yeah. Now, you get that back if it doesn't go, right? Yeah, if it doesn't go, you get the money back. Yeah, so that's unfortunate. All right, here's a rumor from the rumor mill. The next Xbox, and maybe the current Xbox, will be getting Skype. Yes, it's Microsoft bought Skype. Did I Um, put the the story up that's going to probably segue from this one? Well, it would segue nicely if you didn't uh, give it away. (laughs) 
Um, but yes. It's going to have Skype? Skype. Wow. I could see That'd that cool. with use with the Connect. I could I could see that just being as use with people like my friend Tyler. I like talking to him, and he doesn't have an Xbox. I'll Skype with him on Xbox. You know it would be really cool? I mean, and they do have cameras to do this. Uh, self-panning. Right. Uh, like where it'll it'll track your movement. So if you move to one side, the camera will move oh, with you. I have seen And those. if the Connect, you know, the Connect could easily do that. I mean... I don't know if it's uh, capable now, but no. just putting a, a you know what? pivoting I know, camera. They, they said the next Connect was going to – the first thing they were talking about it doing was, like, conform to your room. Yeah, so, you don't like, have to, so you don't have to move furniture out of the way and stuff. It would, like, like full body. It, okay, it, would, it, would just, adju- it would adjust yourself – it would adjust to your room so you don't have to – you know, if you don't have a lot of space to one side, you don't have to make as big of a motion to that side or something. Okay, you know what something cool. I always wondered about was Connect is – so new to the Xbox life cycle and it's like they released it and then all of a sudden they're like fuck it connect to like they just they released it and then like all of a sudden it was like like a couple months later they were talking about the second one well I mean it's hmm. I mean that's that's how it is with uh, most uh, add-ons guess, for consoles I mean like we that's how it Plus, is with most many... electronics yeah they every time an Apple iPhone comes out the next one's already in the works because it gets announced yeah. within a couple a year, months yeah. yeah but I mean it comes it just, out the next year it feels like all their like sweat and labor on that one product is just like just just pooped on by the next thing that they're working on it likes it, they don't give it it's it's like life I guess um maybe they're trying to get people to really enjoy it because they're gonna Probably. Make it better for the next console, and that's the other thing. Maybe they're get, maybe it's like you know when you get when you first get crack from a new drug dealer, they give you the really good stuff to get you hooked on it, and yeah. then they start giving you the bad stuff, so you want soap. more of the good stuff. It's soap. And uh, that was the other thing. That's what I brought up, and I totally spaced it when I brought it. But uh, the technology, there's not that big of a gap between the technology, so it always made me wonder if like the original Connect had some like eh, technology, w- and then like that like. I don't like maybe just, they're they're they, holding off on you, sort of like how yeah. like release date uh, DLC. I yeah. wonder if they learned a thing or two from all the Connect hacks because maybe. a ton of people have yeah. connected it to, or hacked the Connect to do crazy now things. Now there's actually Connect for Windows. Yeah, that it's Microsoft just, released. Yeah, so ma- maybe you're right. Then maybe that's what they they yeah, yeah. took all that info. Um, but uh, via a job listing, Microsoft needs help with getting Skype to work on the next generation of Xbox. Um, the person, I, the person who fills the position, will be responsible of working with current Xbox team and help Skype enter the living room across various devices, but with a focus on the large screen and next generation of Xbox, which is in I quotes. I can definitely see that using the Connect. Definitely. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. And that would be cool as hell. Skype would be awesome on Xbox. I yeah. wonder. I wonder if you'd have to pay though. It wouldn't be like like Skype for the computer, where it's free computer to computer. I don't know because there's a lot of stuff like you don't have to pay for YouTube or you don't have to pay for. You don't have to pay extra for Netflix or Hulu yeah. or ESPN. Yeah, and I mean, you'd, you'd probably still have to pay for you know, like I I doubt you'd have to play for Skype to Skype. Like that's usually what comes free with it. Yeah. So that'd be cool if they integrated it in the Xbox Live, like the party chat kind of thing. Yeah, well, that's what I was kind of hoping is that I don't you know maybe replace party chat with Skype or something like yeah. that, that. They might do, but or, I'm just thinking of the fact that I can talk to people while playing games that aren't on the same console. Yeah, yeah. like yeah. like I could. Because I have Skype on my phone, and I could like yeah. Skype you while you're playing Gears of War, which that would be awesome. Yeah. And on my phone, I've I've Skyped people and done like Google and all that while I'm Skyping with it. And yeah. maybe if they uh, if they incorporate it, you could do like a picture in picture video chat. Ooh. That would, that would be, be kind of cool. neat in the top corner. Yeah. It'd be kind of you gotta. A lot of games have a lot of shit going on. That though. is true. Yeah. So you gotta kind of think about. Well, exactly. That's just that's a lot of processing power, though. If they were to do Skype, and then you're able to do other stuff while you're skyping. Yeah. All right. Moving on. Hmm. They're gonna need a powerful box. The next generation Xbox is finally confirmed by Microsoft. All right. Um, Everybody knew it was coming. Yeah. Well, seriously, every, the thing under this uh, the headline from Games Radar says, "Seriously, everyone already knew." Yeah. <laughs> After years of build-up, a Microsoft representative finally spilled the beans on Microsoft's upcoming new gaming console. Speaking to The Verge on a recent podcast, Microsoft General Manager Brian Hall mentioned the new Xbox when discussing Microsoft Outlook. What if they called it that? The new remember Xbox? The, new, the, the third generation iPad, they called it the new iPad. Oh, they did, and that's they? what it's called. And what if like they just can't come up with a good name and they're like, the new They better Xbox. fucking come up with something. What was what was the uh, what was the one that was Xbox Hoop Loop Loop Yeah, it 
Clue. That's a dumb fucking name. That one's not happening. Yeah, I mean, there's just... There's so much potential for all of the new uh, generation games. The Windows are. Box 8. <laughs> I still love, like, the... <laughs> Call it the PlayStation 10. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> too big. Yeah, we don't have... The, he don't have that one copyrighted. What do you think anyone would use it? <laughs> yeah. Damn. I think they got, like, up to seven copyrighted. They have, no, they have nine because they were using it in a commercial. Yeah. Yeah. For PlayStation 2. They got a lot of stuff. They also have, like, domains and stuff. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, I... And I think even if they did call the PlayStation 10 just to stick it to Sony, uh, that could easily get turned over in court. Oh, yeah. Those things get turned over all the time. Yeah. Like domain squatters that I, uh, squat on Half-Life3.com, and then when it finally comes out in 2050, um, <laughs> they'll just turn it over to Valve anyway. Um, do you have my one angry email I sent you on here? The one about punching babies? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's I, the next story. Um, I don't... This might be the one. Um, next gen source engine indicated in filmmaker files. No, was that the one? Okay, no. I th- then it was. It must be the next one. All right. But uh, yeah, I think that's cool because I can't. I've I've been saying for a while since I think Portal Two that I was like the engine just needs an update. Yeah, um, a new version of the source engine could be in development by at Valve if indications from bits of code discovered by fan site ValveTime.net are true. Script files within Source Filmmaker make several references to engines, including Source 2, and files in the program previously discovered by the site also appear to refer to Half-Life 2, Episode 3. Yeah, like mo- like character models. Yeah. Um, they they have Half-Life one that... Half-Life 2, Episode 3, huh? <laughs> Still in a Half-Life 3? They, I'll take either. <laughs> they have one that's uh, a file that's uh, ep3 slash model slash character slash Alex. Which is a character. Yeah, which is a character. Yeah. Main character in Half-Life. So, it's just, but yeah, ever like when Left 4 Dead One came out, mm-hmm. it just it felt really dated, and then yeah. Left 4 Dead Two came out, and I was like, ooh, it looks a little prettier. But then Portal just came out, and Portal looks shiny. But other than that, I was like, this engine's old. Yeah, like the source came out in in two thousand four. Mm. And when you say Portal, do you mean actual Portal or Portal Two? Portal Two. Got Portal it. Two just looks shiny. But it just the engine's just getting old. Yeah. It needs a new it needs a big update. I I just mainly played it for the plot, but it did feel a lot like all of the other Valve games. Yeah. Where I mean like the physics were almost identical and yeah, pretty much just, all of the interactions was pretty much the it same. Just, it just needs an update. Like Unreal Three gets like point five updates all the time and they're gigantic updates. And Crisis I think just released an update to their engine and it, it, it looks beautiful. Valve's just one and done. They're going to drive this no, into the ground, two, and then they're two just... and done. <laughs> yeah, that's true. There's going to be no Source 3. They're just... Yeah, that's it. And then they're, they're going <laughs> to shut down. Yeah. And Andy's just going to be at the gates, just like... But I want it! <laughs> Crying. Uh, apparently, interest in Time Splitters 4 is just not high enough. That's the Punch that's and Babies the one, one. That's the Punch and Babies one. I sent Matt this email. I saw it, and I'm like... This is just going to be like Half-Life Episode 3. I'm never going to see Time Splitters 4. <laughs> Founder and CEO of Crytek, Savat Yearly. They're a bunch of Swedish dudes. Yeah, okay. Savat Yearly knows that a lot of people want to play a new Time Splitters game, but a lot isn't enough to get one made, at least not yet. Um, he said, quote, I tested through my official blog to see how big the Time Splitters community is, and while the volume of responses was quite high, we feel it's just not high enough yet. That's, that's like exactly something Valve would say too. Like, yeah. like we know you guys really want it. Eh, we're taking our time though. Eh, whatever, whatever. You know, See, the we'll thing I loved about Time Splitters was it was so fucking zany. Yeah. yeah, it was just like James Bond, but if James Bond got slapped with like I don't know Mario Kart. Yeah. What what we need to do is just um, get the community that wants it now and just have everyone say they'll buy two games. <laughs> Look, Crytek, buy we'll two. buy your game twice if you release it. And you know what's dumb is after Crisis Three, Crytek's only making free to play games. They've announced that. I'm like, really? You know what'd make you a shitload of money? Time Splitters Four. Just throwing it out there. Give it to Free Radical. That'd be amazing. Which is like Crytek North. Is Naughty Dog still doing stuff? Oh yeah, they're doing The Last of Us. Okay. And they they just released a gigantic update to Uncharted Three that I didn't know about. So nice. they're still doing stuff. Okay. They're around. They're hanging around. What if times? What if uh, Naughty Dog did Time Splitters Four? What do you think they'd do to it? I'd fucking jizz in my pants. <laughs> I love Naughty Dog. They don't make bad things. 
They refuse. And were they one of the ones that made those weird controllers? Doesn't no. Naughty Dog have controllers? No, not that's. Are you thinking Mad Cats? Mad Cats, I'm, I'm, uh, yeah. Mad Cats and Pelican. Naughty Dog. Yeah. Pelican. Naughty Dog only makes games. <laughs> I know, but you know. One thing that I love. Some people cross, and I still have it. Uh, is my old Pelican Game Boy attachment? It attached <laughs> my Game Boy around? pocket. I don't think so. All right. But like it would, it would, you know, barely magnify the screen, or you could Did it have unfold the light? it. Yeah, and yes. you could turn on a light, and then it have like this giant obnoxious magnifying glass. Yeah. So you had to hel- hold away from your face to really yes. see. I had those uh, light up Xbox controllers. Did you? Yeah, the ones that were like blue and green. And was uh, it the afterglow? Yeah, I mean, it had it was a clear case with you know LED right, lights uh, in it and stuff. I know there's a brand Afterglow. called Afterglow. And, they make them for the PS3 too. And Pelican made those ones. Don't they make the ones? I remember using it on GameCube at my friend's house. The ones that has air coming out. Oh um, my so, god! So, so your hands, so your hands don't get sweaty when you're playing. It's perfect. Yeah, I um, like the Nerf controllers made for gamer rage. <laughs> <laughs> you just throw it. They start yeah. bouncing around, just like sticks to the wall. Yeah, there's like a Nerf got wireless suction, controller. Got suction cups on them. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> you can't, you can't get it off because you just, you just start just throwing like, it. Just like, it just won't leave your hand. Just like, Ugh! controller made by Play Doh. <laughs> it's gonna mold into whatever controller you want. Oh my god! Stick a stick here and it's good. <laughs> you just mash some Play Doh in, and hair comes out the other side. Ooh, it's crazy! It's spaghetti. <laughs> Don't eat it though. Blizzard confirms Battle.net was hacked. Yeah, Snow Patrol. Yes, yes, no control. Uh, Battle.net's internal systems were illegally accessed on August 4th, and account information including encrypted passwords and security questions, uh, as security question answers appear to have been taken. Blizzard said in a security update today that while no evidence so far suggests financial information like credit card numbers or home addresses were taken, affected users are encouraged to change their security credentials. I should really get on that because well, I have yeah. not done that. I have my credit card hooked up to that. Well, it's kind of kind of slow response. I mean, because that this that story was posted, I think yesterday. Yeah, it came uh, out. No, it came out a couple days ago. Yeah, but it, was it was definitely a, a while. It was definitely after. August they 4th. say something in this article. Um, where it was, Blizzard said it refrained from reporting the attacks for five days okay. while it attempted to strike a balance between rapid response and external communication. Our first priority was to resecure our net. <laughs> yeah, uh, our first priority was to resecure our network and network and form and from there we work simultaneously on the investigation and informing our global player base so what i just heard is we're gonna we wanted to cover our ass first before we covered anyone else's probably we don't really care about our customers as much as the the sony route and shut everything down oh god (laughs) that's the madagascar route also adopted by sony (laughs) Um, oh we got hacked everything goes stop it stop production um, but you know it shouldn't be you know World of Warcraft people shouldn't be too worried because there's like five people playing that game now. So if you're on World of Warcraft, I wonder matter. how bad that game's gonna get. They lost. I read like it wasn't really an article; it was just like a fact I saw somewhere. Um, last year, the whole year, they lost two million subscribers. Damn! In the last three months of this year, they've lost one point one million. Holy shit! That game's dying. It's dying. And no one's gonna buy the Panda Express expansion. <laughs> the pack. Panda Express expansion. What is pack. that? <laughs> it's like it's, it's like got pandas and pa- shit. Mists of Pandaria. Yeah, I don't just... fucking know. But oh. it, the main the main focus is pandas. <laughs> Panda Express. All right, guys, that'll do it for gaming news. Are you taking a shot? I will take my shot. All right, take your shot. Nope. Oh wow. god, that wasn't even that was, close. Yeah, that was that was. Swung wide. Man. I whipped it. Well, let's go into technology news. How's that? That rustle. Good news, everyone. We're online. Plug in, power up, and listen in. Whoa. This is technology news. It got me, man. Don't yeah. Worry. Whoa. <laughs> the woe didn't get you that time? Oh, sorry. I was reading my... <laughs> <laughs> I, we, we both looked over at you, oh, really? expecting you to laugh. <laughs> Did you know they're making a Bill and Ted 3? Yeah, I, yeah, and it's I, like I heard super about it. confirmed now. Is it? Oh, yeah, oh my it is God. like on. They the, have a writer too and everything. The first time I heard about it was uh, in the spring. Because yeah. is is Keanu Reeves? Uh, yep. I, I think uh, and and Billy Winters, I think, is the other guy. I think I heard no something. Cares. Yeah, I think I heard something like a f- couple months ago or something where Billy Winters was like said something like. Uh, we can't do it without Keanu. Like, I won't... Because we can't have him replaced, yeah. you know? He's like, so I won't do it without Keanu. And Keanu at the time hadn't said one way or the other. Yeah, no, it's it's on. Oh, God, it's good. On. Yes. 
Yes. That's, <laughs> I just saw them like, my day's made. I'm happy. <laughs> I feel like a, a good addition to this, like maybe they could go like uh, what the Expendables, Expendables did for testosterone. And just do Bill and Ted for stupidity and have like Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> oh my like, god, if he fucking shows up in that movie. <laughs> and like, I don't know. I don't know, know what I'll do. Uh, Jack you know, Black or something. Yeah, or just like really bad actors. Like maybe toss Nicolas Cage in there and have <laughs> oh, him play god. himself again. <laughs> I was going to do a Nicolas Cage impression, but I was They're hard. Because yeah. you're not Nicolas Cage, yeah. so <laughs> he only impersonates himself. It's the perfect disguise. <laughs> you got to do this a lot. My hair's a bird. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> All right. Barnes and Noble just priced its nooks to move. Oh yes, I, I saw saw one of these. It's cheap. The seven inch Android based Nook tablets are seeing the biggest discount uh, that they've ever seen. The sixteen gigabyte model originally two hundred forty nine bucks is now one ninety nine. The eight gig is from one ninety nine to one seventy nine. And their Nook color is from 169 to 149. Which, what that means is there's either new stuff coming out or they're really losing business. That's kind of what they think here is that there's new stuff coming out. Uh, apparently, Acer was a little upset about it. Really? Yeah, there was a there's a story I saw that. Oh god, I got that in here somewhere. Acer? Why Acer no, maybe I don't. Um, Acer wants. Oh man, I I cut that story. I wish I hadn't cut Do that they story. Make something for the Nook? No, Acer makes um a tablet. That runs Android, and Google wants them to price it at like one ninety nine, uh-huh. and they think it should be cheaper, more competitively priced. Mm-hmm. Oh. So now they're worried that they're going to be just kind of blown out of the water with this. Oh, yeah. okay, okay, got you it. You know the comparable because Nook, like Nook, is more of a home name than yeah. The, yeah. Com- the comparable tablets are the same price. But dude, it's sort of like iPad versus Nook, uh, E tablet or E pad or whatever. Color, it is. That thing is slow as hell. Is it? There's so much better out there now. That's why that made me think. I was like, that's an old-ass tablet. There's got to be new ones coming then. uTorrent quietly announces ad support as it gets ready to make a bunch of cash. How do you quietly <laughs> announce that? Uh, maybe put it as like a blog post instead of put it on your front page or something like that. Uh, that's true. I could see that. Put it as like an update to the privacy. That's what I would do. Like if like, The terms of use and service. <laughs> like... Uh, you know, say say we fired Skyler from the podcast for something. I'd post on our blog because no one goes there. Yeah. <laughs> so the next episode would be like, who the fuck is Rick? <laughs> What's Matt, Andy, and Rick? <laughs> oh, my God. Be- Matt, Andy, and Leaper? <laughs> who the hell is this Leaper guy? He was on for trivia, like, one time. <laughs> oh, God. That was a long time ago. We should uh, just get someone else and have them pretend to be Skyler. Oh, my God. We should do that right now, like, because, you know, he's going to be going to the Navy. We should get someone studying him. He's still got two months. Well, to take over a person's life, man, we need at least two months of studying. Erica's got to get used to him. <laughs> yeah. At, at, at least the podcast. If he can just get the podcast mannerisms down, then that'd be fine. Perfect. <laughs> um, torrenting, despite its many legitimate uses, has always been uh, always had the reputation of being plagued by rampant piracy, which... No, yeah. no yeah. way! Yeah. No. no, no, not them! Get ready for give all it that. So much to give. No, get, get ready for all that to get drudged up again because uTorrent, a very popular client, just announced it's getting ad support. Ad supported torrent clients aren't unheard of, but uTorrent is something of a giant in its field with over 125 million active users per month. That's a lot of users. Yeah, I thought everyone used BitTorrent. Or no, BitTorrent is uh, getting filtered now. Yeah, uTorrent is a juggernaut, so adding ads is probably going to make them some serious dough. uTorrent already makes 15 to 20 million a year with its optional toolbar. With the toolbar? Really? The motherfucking toolbar. Um, And it uses that money to support parent company BitTorrent. Built in ad support stands to seriously boost that number. Yeah, BitTorrent owns uTorrent. Yeah, BitTorrent owns a bunch of uh, programs. Like the BitTorrent, like. Program looks almost identical to uTorrent. Okay, because I used to have BitTorrent on my computer to uh, get files from my school dad and stuff s- in school. school. Yeah, all right. yeah, yeah. And uh, I've I've seen uTorrent. It did look the same. Yeah. I just thought it was now, like it, some have you weird. Seen it lately, it looks exactly the same. Really? Almost, yeah. Oh. Except I think like different color schemes. I mean, like this was back when my computer was still plugged in. <laughs> uh, so like a year and a half ago, I still haven't even jacked that crap in. <laughs> I just I just have the tower. You're gonna have like it's a in a box. thousand Windows updates. There's gonna be a rat in it. There's gonna be a rat in my computer, and it's see through. So I'll know. 
Of course, uTorrent is a legal client, and ad support is a legal means of revenue, but considering the program is so widely used to pirate copyrighted material for free, you can that. bet this will make some waves. Yeah, I can see people like, eh, hey, they're making money off me, man. Jesus. <laughs> Did they fall down a well? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I just, I can't believe piracy. Piracy is crazy, have... man. Yo ho. A pirate's life for me. <laughs> Mitt Romney's VP app unsurprisingly fails at its one simple job. You had one job, app. <laughs> One job. What was the job? Basically, uh, you could download an app, and you'd be the first to know who his running mate is. That oh that was God. the app. Like that was the whole app. I hate I hate apps that have one purpose for like one day. It's like yeah. why the fuck would I download it? I'll just wait for the and news. And then it sits on the app store for like yeah. And then it a just year. sits on the app store. Like I could probably go download it right now. And his you know Actually? his his uh, <laughs> vice president candidate's already been announced. He's a really young dude, which surprised me. Yeah. So. Basically, the job the the job the app had was you'd be the very first to know. The app would alert you, "Hey, Paul Ryan's the v- VP, uh, running mate." Okay, now it's gonna be on the news in like thirty seconds. But uh, no, yep. it it was a few hours after it was announced on the news that it was announced on the app. Right here, Mitt's VP. Yeah, it's rated two stars. <laughs> well, because it didn't work. Yeah. Um, which. I don't know. These are kind of stupid. Barack Obama did the same thing, but with text messaging in 08, basically the same fucking thing happened. It's like, what, do you know how fast news travels these days? Like, yeah, the second one person knows, they're going to go tell the news, and it's going to be on the news a like, day before you want to announce it. It's like, you know, you can't really bank on the fact that you're going to be the first to announce it. Yeah, I mean, that's it was just kind of like a really cheap way to uh, get in with the, the hip crowd of the young kids yeah, and the download rap music. My app. <laughs> I wonder how much money they spent <laughs> making that. I hope that was a 9910 app. It's not even no, fucking it's free. free. It's free. <laughs> That'd be hilarious if it was a 9910 <laughs> app. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> a bunch of people suing to get yeah, their 99 just cents like, back. Just like, fuck this! <laughs> I want my jimmies have been rustled. <laughs> I want my jimmies back. God. Yeah, I mean, it was just kind of like a really easy way for them to get in with the, the hip crowd of young kids. They're hooligan dubstep and rap music. <laughs> in April of this year, the U.S. District Court in Eastern Virginia decided that liking something on Facebook did not constitute free speech. Aww. Now, the five plaintiffs are taking their case to an appellate court, and this time they have the support of the ACLU and Facebook behind them. The plaintiffs, all of whom worked in the Hampton, Virginia Sheriff's Office, had originally sued for the First Amendment rights after three of the plaintiffs liked their boss's political rival on Facebook and subsequently lost their jobs when he won the election and remained in office. Oh, okay. The sheriff, B.J. Roberts, claimed that the terminations were due to cost-cutting <laughs> measures, adults. but the plaintiffs were able to prove that Roberts knew about the turncoat Facebook likes in court. Turncoat Facebook likes. The like dist- it's so fucking betrayal. <laughs> the- like, those fucking bastards. The district court still ruled that it is the court's conclusion that they are merely liking a Facebook page, and uh, merely liking a face- Facebook page is insufficient speech to merit constitutional protection. The ruling read, in cases where courts have found that constitutional speech protection is extended to Facebook post, actual statements existed within the record. So they said free speech on Facebook actually has to be like a statement, not a oh, like. Oh, got it. So it's... But actions speak louder than words. <laughs> uh, now, in the fourth U.S. Court of Appeals, the ACLU and Facebook have filed amicus briefs in the support of the five plaintiffs. The ACLU wrote, liking a political candidate on Facebook, just like holding a campaign sign, is constitutionally protected speech. It is a verbal expression as well as a symbolic expression. Clicking the like button announces to others that the user supports, approves, or enjoys the content being liked. Merely because liking requires only the click of a button does not mean that it does not warrant First, protect- first Amendment protection. That was a mouthful. Yeah, I know. See, uh, when I uh, when I like a page and they post links to other pages, uh, I don't like that page. So I don't know if that's a hundred percent true. <laughs> that's that's true, but you know, you just unlike it. That's another statement. Yeah. Um, I don't really just troll the shit out of them. What I, I think is funny. What I don't near. Stop staring at me. <laughs> uh, what I don't necessarily understand is like the eyes. Why? Why? Maybe because it's a public office or a government office that he didn't have the right to fire him 
maybe that's it. That whole because thing, like, I, I follow it, but at the same time, I don't. Maybe okay. I think that might be the case because it's a public, you know, a government. He was elected to that position, then fired people who liked his opposition. Because I know, like, like right now, if you go on Skyler, go on Facebook and call your boss a cunt, you're gonna get fired the next day. Man. I love seeing those Facebook I, captures of yeah. people who call out their shit. Okay, we'll just go with me. Sorry. Okay, I, well, I mean, I don't. Yeah. All right, I'm. Friends, I don't care. I'm, so. I'm friends with my boss on Facebook. Yeah. So go so, on, go on there and tell them how much you hate them, or not to them, but just say how much yeah, you hate your boss. About my job. You, well, they're gonna call you the next morning and be like, "Look, Andy, uh, I don't want you working for me yeah. anymore." Like I would understand. You that. You apparently I, hate me, and you want to kill my dog. Yeah. Yeah, I would understand that. It'd be like, well, my bad. And then you know you could be like, well, that's my opinion. That's my speech. You can't stifle my speech. And they're gonna be like, well, I'm not stifling your speech. I just, I'm just firing you. <laughs> you can go on say it more, but you're not working here anymore. And in Nebraska, you don't need a reason to fire people. Yeah. So maybe yeah, it's at will employment. Maybe uh, maybe the case is different because that's a private business. Maybe. So. I don't know. Yeah, I I'm anxious to see how this turns out. Yeah. So I mean, and Hopefully this what we'll state was this in? Well, Virginia was the state it started in, but it, okay, has, got it. has far reaching implications across the United States of America. Dude, the digital da, 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 We shot fucking another cybersecurity bill got shot down. Yeah. Um CISPA. Yeah. CISPA got shot down. I can't believe we're fucking winning these. Yeah, I know. <laughs> like it started with SOPA, but yeah. yeah. SOPA, Pippa, stop. <laughs> SOPA, Pippa, um, ACTA, CISPA, all of them shot down. Make it rain. I, just, I blame anonymous. I just, I'm, yeah, I'm it just is kinda, surprising. I, I'm that. a little dumbfounded, you know that because it's when SOPA first came out, like we were so sure. Yeah, it was going. It was I going was, through. Yeah, and then it got shot down. Pippo kind of along with it, and then Acto were like, oh, "Fuck," again. you know, like here we go. This one's global. Shot down. And then CISPA, everyone's like, "Here they come again." You know, we can't keep get rid of them. Again, shot down. It's yeah. amazing. Yeah. I, you think, you Some think of them are actually like okay, like parts of them it it makes sense, well, and I'm imagining that there's going to be eventually some. Yeah, they'll, they'll eventually weed it out to be where everyone is like, all right, I can dig it. Yeah, well, unless the then that's fine. Unless you know, once and, again, the uh, the Senate or the con or Congress uh, are just like, well, apparently no one wants this, so nope. My uh, and there's always going to be people that are like. Like anonymous that are just gonna fucking destroy it, but it's gonna be one of those things in time. One of those things is gonna pass. See, because I I think CISPA was the one that was like kind of thinly veiled as like, well, we need to protect our children. Yeah, and I it was CISPA it was a lot of things like protect from predators and stuff like one. that, and basically it has you know it has effects for everybody. You know, it's not not just child predators, yeah. and it's like, but they they say that because you know people. Are you going to fucking yeah. vote against that, you know? Yeah, huh? like if you word it right, yeah. Yeah. But, you know, you could have done something else. You know, this doesn't need to be the bill. Yeah. It'll Something will eventually go through. Yeah. Like it. It's just a matter of time. Yeah, mm -hmm. I kind of, I don't know. That makes me think of, like, political ads where they're like, this person voted to tase children under 12 or whatever. And I kind of want, I feel like there should always be a follow-up with those commercials <laughs> of that person justifying whatever it is. <laughs> Dude, they've been bad this year. The oh god, the smat, the, the what do you want to call the them? Mud, mud Sl slander commercials. Yeah, the they've just been bad this year. Yeah, yeah, they have. Yeah, and I know. I say that all the like every year. Everyone's like they're bad, but this year, like they're close to that. Like he touches children. <laughs> like really? Yeah, it's because there's kids, and yeah. you know they wore <laughs> diapers at one point. It's weird. <laughs> All right, guys, that'll do it for technology news. Yay! You guys ready for the news desk? Oh, I'm ready. Let's do it. News team, assemble! And now it's time for the three-hit combo news desk with Matt, Andy, and Scott. You know what that horn reminds me of? Oregon Trail. <laughs> it does. Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, you guys remember what happened in Belarus? Belarus, Belarus. Was that the... Hit me, give me tip, give me tip off, just the tip. Uh, bears. Ralph Bear. <laughs> Fuck, dude, I know. Uh, what, just go, just go. Was it the guy who uh, Mama Bear attacked a cougar? Teddy bears were dropped in Belarus. Oh, um, yeah, as a, the peace yeah, yeah, as a peace yeah. thing from a um, Swedish company 
yeah, dropped on a Swedish I'm group or you something. Didn't, you didn't drop the update sound. Eh, this is not really an update to that. It's just okay. ramifications of it. Okay. Um, <clears throat> authorities in Belarus arrested and fined two journalists for posing f- uh, for photographs holding teddy bears after hundreds were dropped by air after a pro-democracy stunt. I did not know that Belarus, like, I knew of the name Belarus, yeah. but I didn't know that it was all, like, yeah, yeah like, that bad. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Alexander Lukashenko, the authoritarian president, also suggested on Thursday that the Swedish embassy in Minsk had been involved in planning the July 4th escapade, and an outburst likely to widen a diplomatic rift between Sweden over the incident. Are, are Sweden and them, are they, like close to each other yeah, belarus i don't think so let me look like we figured it was in like that lithuanian yeah area like i can pick out sweden but belarus man i can't pick that shit out mm. here i'll find out though all right sources wikipedia huh. let's find belarus i'm surprised there's still more like i i just did not know that that country was that like government wise bad off um yeah they're not far actually they're kind of like northeast all right Northeast of Sweden? No, Northeast Europe. Okay, got it. So, yeah. Huh. All right. Also, the teddy bear stunt leads to an EU slap on the wrist of Belarus. Oh, really? They're adding more economic sanctions against them and other sanctions that they they already previously had sanctions on Belarus. Um, Current measures include a visa ban and an asset freeze imposed on Lukashenko and his inner circle, including several businessmen. Oh, shit. So... They're doing the the UN. Hey, come on! Stop. <laughs> we'll write a letter. Don't do it. Don't don't do it. Come on. Uh, Knock it off. Give the ball back. <laughs> oh, now it's on the roof. In Louisville, Kentucky, a woman was adre- uh, arrested on drug charges at a local tanning salon. According to the police report, yes. Katrina Jackson was arrested at Suntan City on Dixie Highway. Employees told police that Jackson went for a twenty-minute tan, but they couldn't get her out of the bed once her time was up. Apparently, she boarded herself up in the room and stayed in the bed. Police said her speech was slurred and she didn't know what day it was. A mirror with white residue was found in her purse. Oh, my God. Jackson was arrested on charges of cocaine possession and disorderly conduct. <laughs> they should have just left her in the tanning bed. Like, yeah. you know, like, the next day she sobers up and she's going to be burnt to hell. Oh, and she's, she's like, gonna be so mad at what happened? It's like, yeah, you they spent probably... about four hours in a tanning bed. That's what happened. Though, I mean, on their side of things, she, she maybe could have killed herself. Probably, yeah. yeah. So I can understand, but that would have been a hell of a funny punishment, though. How is that a four-hour sunburn? <laughs> hey, the god on the back. <laughs> oh, smite thee! <laughs> hey, good job! <laughs> Writhing around in pain. Uh, out of Houston, Texas, a Walmart employee has been accused of intentionally running over a customer. <laughs> With what? Oh, God, please be one of those floor waxers. No, no, it was with a car. Damn. Damn. Still pretty funny. Lance Jason Ferguson, who's 33 years old, has been charged with aggravated assault. Houston police said a customer looked at DVDs and video games at a Walmart store in Houston. They have the street, but, you know, it doesn't fucking matter. Uh, Dominique Mason, a high school senior, said he was about to walk out of the store with them without paying, but he had a change of heart. He said, quote, I went back and put them in the Walmart seat just because... Uh, it was wrong for stealing. I don't know what the fuck the Walmart seat is. Yeah. I don't, I but, uh, but he put them back. All right. He said he was going to take them, had a change of heart, realized stealing is wrong, Skyler, and put them back. Hey, when I get a free gallon of milk, don't come crying to me when your jimmies are all dry and rusty. I don't like milk. Are you lactose intolerant? No, I don't oh, like okay. I just don't like milk. No. You know, and, and you know what? A lot of people, a lot of people, when I tell them I don't like milk, they go, so you don't eat cereal? <laughs> <laughs> what? So now, you don't eat cereal? I'm like, no, I. Is it? I eat cereal. Is it milk in general, or just just like white milk? Do you like chocolate milk? I I was able to choke down chocolate milk in uh, okay. elementary school because that's right. what they gave it to me. But I don't mind things with milk in it because okay. it's not just milk. But the taste of just a glass of milk, I don't like. Yeah, straight up plain milk is like. Uh, but I can I really like flavored milk. That's yeah, good. so. And also, for people who didn't know this, I think they just started doing this. Maybe I'm really behind on the times, but IHOP and Village Inn, unlimited refills on chocolate milk. Yeah. And, really? it's, and yeah. it's fucking good chocolate milk. Huh. Yeah, this isn't your grandma's chocolate yeah, milk no, where it's, it's just Nets Quick powder and you yeah. run into powder clumps. <laughs> yeah. It's it's good chocolate milk. <laughs> so Yeah, so, yeah. So, oh, okay. yes, people that don't drink milk do eat cereal. 
Don't, do you eat it dry? Don't talking? discriminate him against Matt's people. Oh, yeah, people. Walmart. Yeah. I forgot what we were talking about. Anyway. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck the Walmart chair is. Yeah, the Walmart seat is what he said, yeah. Um, to the Google. So Mason said he walked out of the store, and Ferguson, a store employee, followed him. Mason began walking home. As he was in the parking lot of a business, um, he heard a car come up behind him, and then he was hit. Police said he rolled on top of the hood and fell to the ground. Investigators said the customer told him that Ferguson got out of the car, told him to never return to Walmart, and walked closer to him as if he was going to hit him. Ferguson then left, and the customer walked home. Ferguson looked him straight in the eye and went, Justice. <laughs> when Mason got home, well, he didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> Almost stealing is not stealing. <laughs> yeah. When Mason got home, his mother took him to the hospital to be treated for injuries to his back. And police said they talked to Ferguson, and Ferguson said... Um, he admitted to a confrontation inside the store, but denied leaving the store and denied driving to work that day. Detectives said surveillance video from the store showed Ferguson leave the store and leave the parking lot in a vehicle similar to the one that the customer described being hit by. The video also showed Ferguson return to the store 10 minutes later after leaving. You, you think, like, employees would be smart enough to know that like the, there's security? And what a surprise, Ferguson is no longer employed by Walmart. He's in the Harris County Jail with a bond set at thirty grand. What an asshole. That is really funny, though. Justice. Yeah. It's like, Served. What, what the fuck is he thinking? <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to go run this guy like, over with my car. Like, like if a customer uh, He's going to get his comeuppance. Even if he did steal it, is it worth killing a teenager over? Yeah. Like, or at like, least maiming him. Yeah, well, even, even maiming him. It's like, yeah. yeah, it's like, okay, so the kid stole a $60 video game once when he was 18, and now he's paralyzed for the rest of his life? Like... Man, the punishment really outweighs what he did. And I have, like, I've been mad at customers, but I've never wanted to just fucking outright destroy them. Yeah, I wanted to like wreck their shit. <laughs> like, I wanted to like <laughs> Get take wrecked. their soup and dump it like all over their, all over them, or like throw you know dishwater muck on their car. <laughs> did that to my ex girlfriend. It's pretty good. Oh my god. All right. So NBC, that was me. Um, NBC pretty much botched the entire Olympics. Yeah. Their coverage was god-awful. Oh, yeah. Um, just things like, first of all, not giving the streaming in the United States. Yeah. Yeah, you had to have a cable provider or something like that. Yeah, you, you weren't able to, to stream it. Um, other things like... Um, money, dude. Yeah, like during the opening ceremony, they cut out 20 minutes of um, and the London bombing. They were doing a tribute yeah, to the yeah. London bombing and um, victims, and instead they had a interview with michael, michael phelps yeah. and then like, how like, many more interviews does that guy need the <laughs> amount of commercials oh god were goddamn ridiculous it's like five minute olympics 15 minutes commercials it, it's ridiculous but when you heard morgan freeman talk about the visa oh god <laughs> do you get a, a political boner you get patriotism standing right up and in your I face said. <laughs> a but hundredth uh, of a second yeah it was <laughs> pretty fucking awful well this just puts a cherry on top. Oh, yeah. NBC confuses Jesse Eisenberg for Mar Mark Zuckerberg. Jesse Eisenberg <laughs> played Mark Zuckerberg <laughs> in The Social Network. Wait, was this the, is this the topless thing? No. Oh, okay. No, no, right. no, no. no. Um, Mark Zuckerberg was photographed topless, if anyone cares. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know what the big deal. Uh, yeah, I don't know what the big <laughs> like, deal is I'm either. Like, he's, a, he's a dude, all right? Yeah, cool. it was at someone's wedding or something. Yeah, right? You like, do shit at a wedding. Yeah, I don't know. Cool. Um, Actor Jesse Eisenberg played Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg in a movie, The Social Network. He must have done a really good job because it seems a lot of people think he really is Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> Eisenberg was in London checking out the US, uh, USA-Spain gold medal basketball game. And when the cameras found him, NBC's broadcast team immediately remarked about putting pictures on Facebook and how all the big-name corporate leaders were in attendance. Oh, my God. <laughs> I have audio. You guys want to listen to it? Sure. How long is it? Oh, God, like, let me find out real quick. All right. Because if it's, if it's more than a minute. Penalty, he's I think it's like to that 30. No, it's short. Stepping into that three. I know I'm going to put that picture on Facebook. Yeah, they just showed him. Yeah, We've got every executive of note, it seems, worldwide attending these games. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's, that's not Mark Zuckerberg, guys. <laughs> Played him in a movie, though. Yeah. You think someone was in the background, like, of NBC, like, God, Someone probably it. texted Jesse God Eisenberg, and he's probably like, serious? <laughs> Looks back up the camera, he's like, what the fuck, really, me? It's like, <laughs> that was a movie. <laughs> Remember Zombieland? That was a little better. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot, that's the same guy. Yeah. That's young Jesse. All right, guys, so we're going to leave London. 
All right. We're getting on a plane. Oh, no. The plane crashes. We get on a boat. Oh. The boat hits an iceberg. We keep swimming. Um, Do we get on one of those mud boats? No, but eventually we hit a current, mm-hmm. and it sends us south to Florida. <laughs> a Florida man tried to trade a baby for food. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> <laughs> I love how you just deadpan it. You're just like, you're excited. You're just like, a Florida man, baby for food. Let's get this shit going. Goddamn Florida. <laughs> We're starting it off. Police in Orange Park, Florida, Jacksonville suburb, are on the lookout for a man they believe was trying to trade a child for food on Saturday night. The man went door to door at a motel and asked several people if they'd like to make this despicable deal. He was holding the baby like it was a doll. That's what it looked like at first. Witness Brian Boyle uh, said to News 4 Jax. News 4 Jax. (laughs) It looked like a doll. That's why I questioned him. Yo, what are you doing? (laughs) Boyle and other witnesses said that they first saw the man outside Roadway Inn Motel around 7.30 p.m. on Saturday. They say he was carrying a child carelessly and tossing him around like a rag doll. Another witness said that he knocked on his door and offered to trade the child for food. Several people at the motel called police, but they did not arrive in time to catch the man. Police believe the man and child may have been spotted getting into a taxi cab at the nearby McDonald's later that night. <laughs> they came oh, with McDonald's. He got his food. <laughs> but have not been able to either locate or identify the man or child. No reports of missing children have been made, but police are eagle- eager to determine the safety and the welfare of the child. What the fuck? I know. That's, that's so- fucking ridiculous. Oh, my God. Like, I, as a... If I was a parent, I would never ever do that. I mean, like, I it's so fucked up. He could have he could afford McDonald's or at least a cab ride. Yeah, I would if baby for a cab if ride. he would have offered me the baby for food, I probably would have taken it so I'd get the baby away from him. Oh, that would. I'd be like, all right, dude, idea, here's actually. my sandwich. Give me the kid. <laughs> that actually would. I just call idea. the police or something. And be like, yeah. I like I don't know where the guy is, but here's the baby. Take this thing and <laughs> hand it to him by the leg. <laughs> <laughs> That's like squirming around. It's like, watch it. He bites. Did they say anything about an age they thought or just, just a baby? No, just a general? baby. All right. All right. So three Damn. a combo Justice Network. Activate. Got to find this guy. Do you, think in, <laughs> do you think in Florida, if we were ever show up as three a combo in Florida, we'd ever get, like, hate? Oh, my God. If we start getting hate mail from Florida, that'd be great. Oh, I wish we got hate mail. I know. I mean, that, we'd make the big time. That's what if that happened. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like Florida just you know, like, you guys suck. You guys aren't funny. Want that. Yeah. I want it. <laughs> I, I crave it. I need the hate. And that's why we were like whipping himself in the back. <laughs> yeah. I need it. Someone crucify me. Too soon. Too soon? <laughs> Too soon. Too soon. Too soon for a Jesus joke. <laughs> Alright guys, that will do it for what the Florida that will do it for that this episode of the podcast. If it was just one, that was all I needed. <laughs> so remember, you can find us on Facebook, facebook.com slash 3 combo podcast, twitter.com slash 3 combo PC. That is the number three PC stands for podcast. You can email us at 3 combo P, uh, podcast at gmail.com. I know, you guys finally fucked me up. Uh, gpxgaming.net. Find us there. Uh, YouTube, search 3 combo podcast. And also go to 3 combo podcastblogspotcom so for Skyler, Andrew, this is Matt Matthew. Matthew. Yeah, sorry, I I'm getting in the groove, you know. Uh, this is Matthew, signing out.